Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So today I'm going to answer a question. It's a pretty basic question. It's how to become a software engineer. So many people have asked me this uh, that I thought I should just do a video on this. Again, for those of you that are subscribing to the channel already, you might be like, oh, this is kind of basic stuff, right? But I wanted to create this video for, for people who are not necessarily subscribed to the channel, who want to find my content and they're searching for how to become a software engineer and they need some advice on this. So uh, I'm going to give you some practical advice on how, how to do this, how to become a software engineer, how to become a software developer. And, uh, and then I would highly recommend, in fact, if you're new to the channel, I'd recommend right now that you stop for a second, click the subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any videos that I do because I think you're going to find that there's more to being a software engineer than just what I'm going to tell you in this video and improving your life and, and all these, these type of things, uh, I think you, if, you, if you're interested in that, you're gonna find this channel interesting. So, okay, so how do you become a software engineer? So there's a lot of different ways that you can choose to become a software engineer. The, the first way is to go down the road of being self-taught, okay? And a lot of software engineers do that. The second way is to go to college or to go to some kind of school for learning software engineering, okay? And the third way is to do a, a boot camp or some kind of accelerated learning program, right? And there's a lot of variations to that. So I'm just going to briefly highlight these three. Again, if you've been subscribed to my channel, if you've read my book, The Complete Software Developer's Career Guide. In fact, this is actually a good way. I talk about all of this in here. If you haven't gotten this book yet and you're looking to become a software engineer, I highly, highly recommend that you get my book. Again, I'm biased. It's my book, but I wrote this book for you <laughs> for this particular part. It's an 800 page book. All right. So it's going to tell you what you need to know. All right, now let's go down again. I'm gonna break down each one of these paths really quickly. And then if you wanna find out more information, like I said, subscribe to the channel, buy the book, and, uh, and, and that'll, that'll help you out. But uh, if you've already subscribed, you already know all this stuff, but it's cool. Okay, so first path, let's talk about self-taught. Okay, if you want to go down this path, uh, you, can, you can teach yourself to become a software engineer, a software developer. It's really not that difficult to do today. I know that some people say, no, no, it's, it's so hard. But honestly, there's so many resources out there. I mean, like my YouTube channel, I've got Pluralsight courses. You can check out some of my Pluralsight courses if you want. Right, but or just subscribe to Pluralsight in general. Uh, but there are YouTube tutorials, there are blog posts, there are books out there. You can basically learn everything you need to know about becoming a software engineer just by reading stuff that's out there, just by consuming content for a very cheap, right? I mean, there's a ton of free resources out there, but you can also, you know, find very cheaply paid resources. Like I said, one of the ones I recommend all the time is Pluralsight. You know, you should definitely subscribe if you haven't already, or at least check out the free trial and watch some courses on there, because this is a ridiculous amount of information. Like if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna learn on your own, I would highly, highly recommend it. Again, bias alert, I have courses on there, but it's still the best value that you're you're possibly gonna find, in my opinion. If a better one comes along, I will tell you. Okay, so as far as self-taught road, the only problems with this, okay, is that you have to be self-motivated and you have to set a schedule for yourself and you have to basically come up with what your goal is, okay? And you're gonna have to drive towards that goal because there's a lot of distractions out there. There's a lot of technologies, a lot of people that go on the self-taught road, what they end up doing is they get distracted because they're like, I need to learn this programming language and this JavaScript framework and this and this and this, and they're going all over the place, okay? Instead of just staying focused. So I would recommend if you go the self-taught route, that you come up with a schedule for yourself, a routine of how much time you're gonna spend studying each day and have some real goals and milestones and you have a real set goal of what you wanna do, right? So what kind of developer do you wanna become? What technology? What kind of job do you wanna get? I always recommend that you actually go and find a job description and, and look at it and basically say, okay, I wanna be able to get this particular job. So you work backwards and say, what do I need to know? And then you build your curriculum. Now you can do some cheats here. You can go and you can look at some coding boot camps or some college curriculums and you can see what they're teaching and you can kind of build your own curriculum based on that. You can find all that stuff. You can even find the textbooks if you want. All of that knowledge is available to you today you, it, it's you know and it's very easy to find so there's no reason why you have to go to school or you have to go somewhere else in order to learn learning on your own is definitely possible today and okay so next we talked about self-taught okay so self-taught is great that's how i learned really uh, next is college okay now college is a default it's really not a good choice today i'll, I'll be honest with you most people like your parents aren't going to like this advice but it's fine but i'll tell you that 
college is not, it's very expensive, okay? And a lot of people get into debt, okay? And, and then they don't, and they waste four years of their life or five years of their life. And it's really, it's a distracting environment. So I don't prefer college. Now college is good for you if you're the kind of person that doesn't have self-motivation and you need a routine and you need a schedule and you need someone to set it for you and you need someone to tell you what to learn and what to study, okay? If that's you, then college might be it, right? If you want to be a doctor, college is definitely it, okay? But if you want to be a software engineer, college, you know, college is probably not your best choice, honestly. Not 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 today. I think there's too many other options and I think technology moves too fast. Now, can you go to college and become a software engineer? Obviously, of course. But if you do, let me tell you this. Don't get a general IT certification. Don't get an IT degree get a software engineering degree, get a software development degree, get a programming degree, get some kind of degree where you're actually spending a lot of time doing actual programming, right? Even a computer science degree is okay, but I would make it as, I would try to find as applicable as possible of a degree. And I'd look at the program very carefully and I'd make sure that you're taking actually relevant programming courses, that you have a major project, programming project, as you know, in your, at least in your senior year, where you're actually working on a real project and getting real experience, because that's what's gonna be really important. The other thing I would caution you on is don't go into debt. Okay, if you go into debt, it's going to be a waste. Okay, you're already going to spend, you know, f several years, right? If if you can if you can self teach and become a software engineer, in one year, and then spend three years working, okay, then you have to really think about that in terms of right, because that's possible. It's totally possible. Okay, like I said, it's people have done in six months. So if you're going to spend four or five years in college and pay and go into debt, right, that's a huge, huge like. It, burden, right? It's, it's, you really have to weigh the advantage and disadvantage here. Again, I'm not trying to, you know, just encourage people to never go to college, but it's, it's really an outdated mode of education, honestly. And for the price, it, it's usually not worth it. If you're going to do it though, here's what I would do. Go to community college first for two years or three years, if you can make sure the credits will transfer over to university. And, you know, the education is going to be, it's going to be fine. It's not going to make that much of a difference. Honestly, it's it, education is about what you, what you, uh, bring to it. Not about what some teacher, no teacher is magic. Okay. So do that and make sure that you're working during that time to pay off your debt. So you don't go into debt and then spend the last year at university or last two years. And, and don't, and don't go, unless you get a scholarship to a really expensive university, don't go to an expensive one. Just go to state school, just go to a cheap university, right? And, and make sure that you minimize the amount of money that you, you spend because people go 60, $70,000 into debt and then they, it takes them 10, 20 years to pay it off, okay? It, it's ridiculous. You don't want to be burdened by that. It will, it will be a shackle for the rest of your life. So again, I don't mean to be so discouraging on the college part. You can totally go to college and become a software engineer, but you got to do it the smart way if you're going to do it. And it's not the way that I recommend. Okay, so next we have the, the boot camps, and this would include in-person and online boot camps, right? So I've got a recommendation for you on this. Uh, I, I've got some some boot camps. I, I've done some. There's a lot of good boot camps out there. But essentially, what what is this what is this path? This path is is sort of in between, right? It's like if you think about it, it's an accelerated program. It's a lot learning on your own, but it's it's a very intense program where you're basically spending. It depends on how long the boot camp is, but a lot of them are like 12 weeks. Uh, some of them are eight weeks, or some of them are more. Some of them are six months. But you're just immersed in the environment of programming and and learning one specific language or technology usually and just spending all that time just just focus on learning so these environments are very tough but they're very good and it's a really good way to learn very quickly right if you want to learn quickly and you're willing to put in the work but now the downside of this is that it's going to be a lot of work and you're going to have to come in prepared you can't just come into boot camp not know anything about programming at all and not do any kind of studying on your own and think that you're going to succeed. You've got to bust ass before you get there and you got to bust ass when you get there. Okay. And you just got to be dedicated. You got to clear everything else off your schedule, but this is going to get you very fast, accelerated learning. Not only that though, but you have to pick a good boot camp. Not every boot camp is good, right? You're going to have to call some students that have gone to that boot camp, look for referrals, make sure that it's solid, okay? And you know, the nice thing about boot camps also is they help place you afterwards. And I know a lot of people are saying, "Well, John, you're kind of like a shill for boot camps." But honestly, like this is the reason why I'm so in support of boot camps is because this is how I would learn, right? I wouldn't even do the self 
self-education because I'd rather just take someone else's curriculum, be in an environment with a lot of other people that are trying to learn this and, and just immerse myself in it for six months and not have to worry about, you know, am I learning the right thing? Because this is real practical, real world experience with people that are going to hook you up, hopefully with jobs afterwards. So that makes a lot of sense to me. So yes, this, you know, these are the three paths for being a software engineer. No, oh, and I gotta tell you, on the bootcamp route, there's very few boot camps that I'll recommend. I, I, you know, obviously, any anyone that I've advertised on this channel, if you've seen an ad uh, that I have endorsed on this channel, they're they're good because I've vetted them out ahead of time. One of the ones that I'm working with today is a company called Thinkful. You can check them out. I'm gonna have some. I might already have some videos with some testimonials and stuff. They are really good. They have a lot of good programs. I'll, I'll have more details. I'll do some videos specifically on Thinkful coming up here. But I've heard so many good things about them, and I know a lot of people that have gone through the courses and mentors on Thinkful, so that's why I would recommend them. They have an online component. I think they have an in-person component as well. You know, and, th and that's the thing with the boot camps also is that you can do it online or you can do it in person. But essentially, like if you think about it, it's an accelerated learning program where it's really, really intense and immersive. So again, how to become a software engineer? Three ways. One, self-study. It's good. You can do that. Totally, uh, you know, can do that, but you have to be focused and you have to be self-motivated. College. It works for most people, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a de facto way, but it's an expensive way and it's gonna take a lot of time. So, you know, if you need the motivation and you, you can't do it on your own, it's, it's cool, it's fine. It's, it's definitely an option, okay? And then boot camps. Boot camps, whether online or in person, the, the key thing here is to vet them out and to make sure that you are going to push yourself really hard and that you're gonna work your ass off to succeed there. Because if you don't, you're gonna fail at boot camp. You're not gonna make it. You're gonna fall so behind so far, so fast, that you're just gonna wipe out. So there you go. Those are the ways to become a software engineer. And uh, yeah, if you've got some other ways, let me know. And if you got some recommendations on on, on you know how, how you've done it, uh, let me know, leave a comment below. Uh, I hope this helps you again. For those of you that have already subscribed, some of this stuff is already gonna be pretty basic. But if you haven't subscribed already and uh, you are interested in not just becoming a software engineer, but improving your life, right? Everything from social skills to uh, career development, to real estate, investing, finance, uh, to just becoming the best version of yourself, make sure you click that subscribe button below. Make sure you click the bell because I've got a ton of content on, on this channel over probably about 2,000 videos by the time you're watching this on all kinds of things on improving yourself and, and becoming the best version of yourself possible, really, which is, is, is a, that's the thing you should focus on because that's the thing that's gonna benefit you most in your life. You know, it's important to gain technical skills. It's important to get a career. But if you learn the kind of skills that I teach you on this channel, and self-development, uh, that, that's the thing that's gonna benefit you more in life than anything else, bar none. So click the subscribe button. I'll talk to you next time.